Um, there's no real regulatory issues that are going to stop Tesla from deploying this, just like no regulatory issues would have stopped cars when horses were getting out of style. It is an amazing business model with recurring revenue. And this is where the margins for Tesla are going to go from nice to freaking insane. Now, right now, Tesla sells cars once. They charge 45K per vehicle, 50K per vehicle, whatever that is. But FSD and Robotaxi are recurring revenue businesses. So what's better, 45,000 per vehicle and then selling some services or a recurring ongoing non-stop license? I, mean, I think the obvious answer is right in front of you. On top of that, we're not even going to consider today the money that Tesla is going to collect from OEM licenses from other manufacturers that don't have that technology, not even counting that in right now, just looking at FSD straight up to consumers. So by 2030, if Tesla has about 15 million vehicles on the road, let's say that half is robotaxi, half is actual vehicles they sold. So let's say seven and seven, right? Each vehicle of robotaxi is going to do 50K miles per year at about dollar per mile. That's a 50K revenue. Let's say that the gross margin here is going to be about, you know, 50% because, you know, you'll pay about 25 on expenses.